Alright, so today we're at the Home Depot trying to look for some insect killers or repellent. They have a wide variety to choose from. Actually, it's located right here. So many choices. I think I'm gonna go with one of these to fly for fly trap. And also some of these repellents spray on myself while I'm sleeping. Last time I even bought some of these. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys a comprehensive way of killing and getting rid of pesky fruit flies. I'll be covering everything you see right here and more. Let's not forget the electric bug zapper, more direct approach. So let's talk about what fruit flies are. They're a pesky little insect, very easy to breed. They last about 40 to 50 days. That's why scientists use them in their research and experiments because they are easy to deal with. They have pretty um, basic DNA. In growth cycles, very easy to keep track of. I think the main reason why I did start developing this fruit fly is because either I brought some um, bananas home from the store and just they grew from that, or probably from my garlic cloves that I store in the kitchen. Even I, instead of throwing away the bad ones, I just keep on piling the new ones on top. So I stopped by my uh, local Home Depot to buy these some of these products. We'll be going over each. So the main reason why I'm making this video is because I've been having insomnia issues due to feeling the fruit flies just getting all over me, itchy, in the ears, around the neck, in the back. Ugh, it's just so irritating when you try to fall asleep. And I'm a very light sleeper. So I was forced to take a little bit of the ambient, you know. Oh, I, I am so mad right now. So that's the reason why I'm making this video. I'm reviewing all these products so you guys don't have to go through the same problems I have. Let's get started. Alright, I'm gonna start out by showing you guys how to make the vinegar and this detergent mixture solution. What I like to do is just use a bowl. Some people use saran wrap on top of it, but I prefer to leave it open. That way the fruit flies can get into it. I mean the sticky situation will keep them trapped. They won't be able to fly away because their wings are so small. What I like to do is do like a half apple cider vinegar. You can pretty much eyeball it. It's not like a chemistry class. And maybe half or slightly less of the dish detergent. This provides that stickiness factor. That's just to attract it. So as simple as that. Alright, so you can see the apple cider vinegar and the this detergent mixture works real well. On the left, you see about 20 little fruit flies that I caught. And on the right, about the same, maybe a little bit more. You know, sometimes you just have to fry them with this zapper. <laughs> so satisfying. That is so satisfying. Or you can pour boiling hot water in the drain, especially in the garbage disposal area. Oh, and make sure you pour some in the bathtub too. Another effective method of getting rid of fruit flies is by using Drano or liquid plumber. Basically the chemicals from this strong declogger kills off all the fruit flies. So one good prevention technique is to remove all the household plants because the fruit flies like to burrow into the soil. It provides a damp and nutritious home for it to lay its eggs. One little spot I like to check for is use some of these spray, insect spray, and get into this little area right here. This seems like a good breeding area for them. And also one area I like to check for is around the toilet water area. Spray it all around there. Who knows, under there might be similar to what you get from the drain. 
So for the directions, what I'm gonna do is spray it in between the seams. I'm gonna start out with the headrest in between the seams along the cracks. And here are a couple of um, insect for fly traps that I purchased from Home Depot. Let's take a look at the Patero fruit fly trap, which just cost a little bit over six bucks, six fifty, something like that. Let's take a look in the back of the directions. There you go, just activate it by pulling the tab, inserting the liquid, and place it in a strategically placed location. Last 30 days, non-toxic. So we'll just continue to peel it off like so. You see the liquid. Kind of looks like red Kool-Aid. Does a little bit of mild, man. You know what? That smells exactly like apple cider vinegar. I could have bought a whole bottle for that price. I could have mixed my own. Anyway, I'm gonna place in a strategic. All right, so we have a master bedroom. You can see a bowl of my fruit fly traps. I even went to great lengths, such as duct taping the heat vents. I just feel that I've done everything possible. Why are there still fruit flies in my master bedroom? So I just felt that maybe it's flying throughout the house via the heat vents. So I basically closed out all the openings, duct taped it real good. Let's see if this trap caught any. I see one right there, two, and three at most. Didn't work out as good as I had planned. All right, welcome to my master bedroom. I went to great lengths such as placing these two traps near the headboard, but unfortunately, neither caught any fruit flies. Let's check and see if this aspectic electric zapper has caught any fruit flies. I left this on for about six hours. I don't see anything. Pretty disappointed about that. All right, now that we've seen all the methods that I've used, it's time to give each a quick grade. We start out with the uh, apple cider vinegar and the dish detergent. That is the most effective. I might as well trickle down like that, from most effective to least. That caught in itself probably around 50 fruit flies. It did its job. Second, I would say the electric zapper. That's a more direct approach to it. But the only downside is you have to see it, and some of the fruit flies are so small, it might escape even the the uh, hole is de designed into this, but it's very awesome to see them get electrocuted. And third, I would say would be um, this stick. Keep in mind, this all wasn't from uh, the past month or so. This is like last year, around this year. That seemed to do its job. Unfortunately, the fly ribbon. It only caught, I placed around like five round house, and it caught like maybe four at most. So that's an okay deal right there. And this one's very disappointing. I pay about $650. This is Tarot for Fly Trap. It only caught one big one. I don't know if you guys can see it in there right now. But it's this one right there. It's a little black moving insect in there. Very disappointed. By the way, it smells exactly like the concoction that I made with this and it's a lot cheaper. So cross that out. That's an F right there. And I even went to great lengths to get this color, bug repellent. I sprayed it on my neck, on my arms, basically all around the area that I felt that bugs were landing on me. It didn't seem to do its job. Maybe it's not cut off for fruit flies. Maybe it's more for your mosquitoes and your other type of nuisance insect nuisance. Yeah, I'm very disappointed about it as Spectic Bug Zapper too. It got rave reviews on Amazon. Maybe it's best used for flies and mosquitoes, but it doesn't really work with fruit flies. And I paid about $34.99. I got two of them too. I'll definitely be reviewing that. I'm not happy with that at all. Um, 
And for the hot water, that definitely does its job because it's temperature more than what they can deal with. And also the drain on her from friends that they use and they work for them. You know, one way of defeating them is to just have prevention. Whenever you buy fruits, even bananas, garlic, or whatever, just keep them in the refrigerator. It's not worth the risk of having fruit flies. And for this hot shot, bed bug and flea spray, I basically sprayed it all around my bed framing stuff, but it might just work for bed bug and fleas because I can't really tell if it works for fruit flies because I still experience them in my bedroom. Otherwise, you would think it would provide a barrier to keep them from coming in, but it didn't. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe.